I suspect you'll be shocked to learn this, but I was never a standout at school athletics. When, when we chose sides for whatever game we were playing at PE or recess, I was always among the last to be chosen. In later, in later grades, believe it or not, I was sometimes skipped over for coveted roles in school drama productions. Oh, the humanity. Student government positions, rewards of various kinds, they went to my rivals. And then, of course, there were those awkward one-way crushes. You, know, you like her, but she likes the quarterback on the football team, some kid named Dash or Dirk or Chaz. And the rejections don't stop at high school. Like the company hires a different candidate or the position goes to a coworker, or the client chooses a competitor. Let's face it, life is full of those moments when the envelope is torn open and it's not your name they read before a cheering crowd. If that feels familiar, let me inter introduce you to a guy named Joe. His story is in Acts chapter 1. After the resurrection of Jesus, the apostles had a problem. Judas had to be replaced. So Peter called a meeting, and he stood up, and he said, quote, It is necessary to choose one of the men who have been with us the whole time the Lord Jesus was living among us, beginning from John's baptism to the time when Jesus was taken up from us, for one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. Luke continues, So they nominated two men, Joseph, Joe, called Barsabbas, also known as Justice, and Matthias. And then they prayed, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which of these two you have chosen to take over this apostolic ministry, which Judas left to go where he belongs. And then they cast lots, and the lot fell to Matthias. So he was added to the 11 apostles. Joe met all the qualifications for the job. He had witnessed every miracle, heard every teaching, walked every step with Jesus. He was eminently qualified for the position of apostle, but God chose some guy named Matt instead. So what happened to Joe? Well, he's never mentioned again in the Bible. And for that matter, neither is Matt. Matt. But there are several traditional stories that suggest that Joe continued in his faith and even died a martyr. Here's the thing. He wasn't chosen for the role of an apostle, but he was chosen for a relationship with God. And apparently for Joe, that was enough. It's enough for you and me too. We might not win the award or be chosen for the job or get the most social media likes, but the God who formed the earth and lit the light and flung the stars to the far corners of the universe knows your name, whether anybody else knows it or not. Not a sermon, just a thought.